Hello, good evening all. <coughs> this is Ekwe Michael Okoro. I'm a student of Federal Polynek at Computer Science HND want to be precise and I'm here to perform a basic configuration, a basic network configuration using a simulation software that is called Packet Tracer. Cisco Packet Tracer to be precise. And I'm going to be making use of five pieces, a router and a switch. At the end of the day, I'll be able to ping them, you know, then assign IP addresses to them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Before then, we have to launch our packet tracer. This is it. This is how it is. So for purpose of clarity, we expand it. All right. This is the environment. This is where we're going to be kind of our basic configuration. Now we need five pieces. I'll just click on this place to bring out my five pieces. Sorry. Yeah. Those are my network device, my end user. My end user device. I need five of it. I bring this on this side, that side, just like that, on and on and on, the five of them. All right, so I have five pieces now. Don't mind me, they may be scattered, but the arrangement does not matter. But what is most important is the configuration. Maybe later I can do those ones. All right, I need my, so sorry about this. Yeah, not time for that one yet. <clears throat> I need my my router and my switch yeah this is my router i need this generic router pull it up there my switch yeah no this one all right now i have all my device my network device and my end user device which is the pc1 p0 one two three four five five four pieces but there are five pieces on the screen now i have to what to connect them and I can use my copper straight through cable for such connection, but for the purpose of me trying to be faster, I will just use this icon here for to automatically choose any connection type. So I just place it here to the switch, place it here to the switch, take it again to the switch, take it again to the switch. Now some a message will come up now okay now by default uh, this switch this kind of switch is assigned to take only four to have only four ports so what we have to do is just to click on it or oh, no let me drop this first yeah let me drop it yeah let's select just click on it and add port to it i still have one two three four other ports remaining but i need to make available two space for my router and my last pc so i can add the four ports when this my switch is on take a look at this place. you see a green button indicating that the switch is on so i'll have to off it so that i can be able to do what drag here and drop drag here and drop okay yeah you see it is so let me on it back all right so i close it now i can come to this place select automatic connection type click here drop it here then click here again from the router now to the switch all right now after this my connection has been set i've actually done the connection now let me go and assign ip address to each of my end user device which is a pc when you just click on it this box will come up in the stand then you click on desktop from desktop you see ip configuration you click on ip configuration since i'm using the class c configuration which ranges from 192 to 2 Two two five four. Well, not too sure about it's from one nine two. So I'm going to say one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one for the first PC. I'll just have to copy this. Then I'll just have to because paste it here. You see, it automatically brings out the what the format of what the class C two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. See, but I have to give them a, the same gateway. 192.168.11.100. The default gate will be the same for all the pieces. Since they are using one switch. Alright. I go to the next PC. I click on it. Come to desktop. IP configuration. And just paste it and just change this one to two. Come here. Zero zero. You know. All that. You do it for all the them. Okay, desktop, IP configuration, P0, 
paste this one there this should be the third one paste this one there add the two zeros there okay the fourth pc yeah ip configuration this and the fourth one sorry fourth one paste this one there add the zero can go on and on and on as many pieces as you would like to get <clears throat> and this is the fifth one just add this there zero, zero. now i successfully assigned the ip address to all these my end user device my pcs all right let me go and touch the router too let me go and give it the gateway i'm going to configure the gateway you see so from here I'll come to this fast Ethernet zero slash zero. I just paste it there zero zero for the gateway. Always remember to put this on. Okay. Come to RIP, paste it there zero zero. I click on add. It comes in. All right. Now I think that's all. Watch. All our connections are now showing green. The nodes of our connections are now showing green. That means was, they are connected. Now, for us to know if this connection is true, let us just try and see if we can send packets, send message across each device. See if the other device, the device is going to what, is going to accept it. All right. Now let me take this. Click here. Watch it. You see, this thing that will show the status of our what, our response, if it is successful or if it is what fail. I click here. All right, in progress. You see, successful. I pick it again. Let me just try, 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 try. All oh, true. You see, in progress. Fail. Don't worry. We'll do it again. It's normal. Click here. I drop it here. You see, success. Can delete it. Let's try it again to be sure that our connection is in order. Successful. So we can go on and on. That is just the way it is. Now, from here, we have to do what? The next thing is to do is to ping. Let us ping. I'll start from this default, the first PC. I want to ping. You, you click on the PC. When you click on the PC, you come to this command prompt here under your desktop. Your desktop tab. You come to your command prompt. When you click on command prompt, this black screen will come up. You just type the word ping. Ping. Then the destination IP address. The destination IP address. Okay, let me let me use the, the IP address of the PC5, the last PC. Let's say 192.168.1.5. Yeah, you click on it, press enter, and this is the response. You see, packet sent, four packets were sent, four packets were received, lost zero. So it has responded perfectly well. Let's ping other end user device, ping 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot four. All right, enter. Okay, okay, yeah, same success story. Let's go ahead and just be sure that we have a good configuration. Think one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot three. Enter. Yeah, good story. Let's ping 192.168.1. Dot the thing should be the okay, the second one. Yeah, same success story. Yes, no errors, no lost packets. They were all sent and what received. All right, so that is how we come about configuring. And what's pinging, you know, doing the basic configuration of what with the router, a switch, and five pieces. So, thank you very much for watching. I still remain Michael Ekpen Okoro. Bye bye. Peace out.